I'd like to say that this beer was waiting for us, but uh, that might be a little too much for which to ask. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this episode of Borders on Budgets. On this edition, we are going to climb the highest mountain in Ukraine in what appears to be a promising start, but as always, at elevation, daylight and the weather can be a challenge. Long distance hikes! But having a monkey steal from my camera bag... A kayak with an inexperienced kayaker. Borders on Budgets. Well, as is shown with this bus rumbling, I've already put in an effort to get to the Carpathian Biosphere Reserve. The two-house village of Kozmeschik is eight kilometers to the apex of Mount Hoverla. In this eight kilometers, it is expected that uh, we'll take four hours in each direction. It is uh, one o'clock now, and so yes, uh, while it's sunny and bright, uh, the weather is expected to turn at around uh, six o'clock, and then of course, sun sets in late August at around eight. Oh, so that, so that's why he was wearing gum boots. Wow, champing non. Wow. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> yeah, the parking lot is full, and I'm wondering if it would have been more comfortable to ride a horse. It just so happens that on the day that I'm doing this climb, it's National Flag Day in Ukraine, so and tomorrow is Ukraine's 30th, uh, 30th anniversary of independence. Yeah. Militär. Sowjetska Passport. So this, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Junge, ich war jung. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have water? I do. Do you have food? Yes. Jacket? Yes. You won't be cold? No, I won't be cold. And uh, more importantly, I've got uh, four full batteries. And uh, yes, we've got uh, six and a half hours to go up and back before uh, daylight is kaput. Alverla tops out at uh, 2,060 meters, and as I stated, it is the highest mountain in the Ukrainian Carpathians. Warmer than I expected. And it's not just the uh, elevation at 2,000 meters, but it will be a climb of approximately 1,000 meters and over a distance of uh, seven or eight kilometers. That means the average grade is over 10%. I spy with my little eye some uh, fruit to be picked. I'm not surprised that I'm finding raspberries in the forest. The, uh, the fruit picking in Ukraine is fantastic. The rain has held off, so that's good, but I've noticed that there's a little chill in the air, and it's especially noticeable once I take off my knapsack and expose the massive sweat stain on my back, then that's cold. Google Maps says we're about halfway, and it's been 90 minutes, so I'm, uh, I'm curious as to how far it is to get to the top of Hoverla. the most difficult uh, part of the way. And so you're saying another two to two and a half hours? Something like that. 
Okay. Something like that. Daylight is burning. This is, it, it's, it, it sounds optimistically. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Before continuing to ascend the mountain, some more berry picking. And if memory serves me correctly, uh, I had uh, these guys, which will taste like uh, sour apple in, uh, in Argentina. And these guys are able to climb with a vape. Wow, that's stamina. Hello. Haven't heard any deep breathing from anybody else coming or going from the mountain, leading me to wonder how is it that Ukrainians have the stamina of a Himalayan Sherpa? Nonetheless, I'm managing, though I don't think I'm going to make it to the top because I have to make it back down before the rains come overnight. Uh, I'm not without provisions, though. Canned fish sandwich. On this last push to the top of Hoverla, words that I'm hearing are choot choot. Little little in Ukrainian. Does that look like little little to go? Uh, uh, the day of uh, Ukrainian um, national flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so we decided to climb to Hoverla with our with two families, with a small daughter of six years, and we are proud of uh, being independent for 30 years. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to, really I would, considering how close the top is, but it's, it's an hour there and back at least. Uh, I've been fortunate so far that the rain has held off, but if I try to reach the summit, come back, I'm fighting daylight on the way down, and that just, that just risks too much. Uh, besides, the view isn't going to change from up there, from that which I have here, so sometimes you just got to know when to say when. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, local people, natural sounds, not a lot of money. From near the top of Ukraine at Mount Hoverla, thank you very much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. And they've got stop in English. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't stop. And the crossing looks safe. Okay, not bad. Six and a half hours to go up and back before uh, daylight is kaput. Seven and a half hours. Well, the consolation for not climbing to the top of Mount Hoverla is that I do have some uh, extra time to, uh, to pick some of these uh, forest berries. Say, did you like this episode? Great. Help Borders on Budgets grow. Hit the subscribe button below, leave a comment, thumbs ups are great, and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends who love to hike in the mountains.